why am I here? That's a that's a wonderful question. I'm here because I care deeply about stained glass as a medium, and Woodlawn has this extraordinary collection of 1,200 mausoleums with stained glass in them. And I can't remember, it's probably 20 years ago, I did a publication which included a design drawing in the Met's collection. And Susan recognized the name and said, we have that window at Woodlawn. Because I had no idea where it was. There was no indication on this this design drawing. And, and uh, you know, so that's how she remembers our first getting together. I remember my first getting together was a little different. And it's kind of silly, so you probably shouldn't record this. But my husband's mother died and wanted to be buried in their family mausoleum at Woodlawn. So before this was going to happen. Family members were coming. I, our GPS took us to the Jerome Avenue entrance and I just knocked on the door. And Susan, who I had known, came out and she was with Janet Parks, who was the um, architectural librarian at Avery Library where they, they were processing a lot of the records from Woodlawn. And Susan was very cute. She said, you know, what are you here for basically? And I said, well, I'm here looking for this mausoleum. And Oh, I'll hop in my car. You can follow me. Do you want the key? I said, oh, no, we don't want the key. You know. Um, so we get there, and we're looking at it, and she said, don't worry, all the leaves. It'll all be just fine for when you and the family come. But we took a walk around the back. And I said, oh, my gosh, this is a Tiffany window. Never having known that. My mother-in-law never took Anyway, whether she knew it or not. So where do you get the key? <laughs> In any event, we went in, and, and it, it's a wonderful Tiffany window of Christ and Majesty, this gorgeous turquoise, full-on drapery glass robes, but the head at one point was bashed in and very poorly repaired, so it's not a great window today. But um, it was really after that that Susan invited me for a day, not maybe a little colder than today. It was in the fall, in October. And she unlocked for me some 50 mausoleums in one afternoon. We went dashing around to them. I was awestruck of, of what I was looking at. It, at the end of the day, the light was going down. So she would open up the mausoleum, which oftentimes is sort of strewn with cobwebs and, and leaves. And she would take a flashlight around the back and just run it up and down. I mean, it was crazy. It really, it really was a bit crazy. But, but that's where I realized how how important these windows were and and the significance. This is really unique, as far as I can see. And then Susan has rightfully become very interested in documenting them. Very, very important because a lot of windows were stolen in the eighteen in the nineteen eighties. Um, great Tiffany landscape windows, primarily. Security is so much better now than it ever was then. But these are large, many, many acred park-like cemeteries. So you can't have a guard in every gallery, so to speak. And she wanted also to start documenting them on the point of view of their conservation. Because some of them, I mean, I remember when she took me into the Galette window, which is in a gorgeous McKimbean white mausoleum. And I'm looking at these huge windows, and I'm putting my finger through one of the, I mean, I see one of the scales. So, so it was clear to me that a lot of these windows needed, needed help. This is an enormously ambitious project. And yet, um, this is the first step, is to do the documentation, both art historically, historically, and from a conservation point of view. And then, it provides Susan with the material she needs to then contact family members to say, this window's in dire shape, this mausoleum needs help. Come up, come see it, we'll talk to you and 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 get something going here. So so it's definitely led to that. And then at the same time, it's 
it's providing this extraordinary database of, of stained glass in America.